In this video, we'll take a look at using the Insert Vertex and Delete Vertex tools in Dimension Strings. These two tools give us an easy way to add dimensions to a string or delete dimensions from a string. We'll also take a look at dimension associations to the elements from which they're drawn and how to associate dimensions and unassociate dimensions. Let's start with the Vertex tools first. Now on the screen, you can see a series of white element lines, which are the object. And I've added red dimensions to that. I'd like you to draw the white elements to the dimensions shown, but don't actually draw the dimensions yet. We'll get to that later. The vertical heights on the objects here and here, etc., etc., doesn't matter at all. It's the horizontal information that we're concerned with right now. So pause your video and draw those lines, and then we'll get back to the vertex tools. You can draw in, in either English measure or in metric if you wish. Okay, now I assume you've drawn the dimensions, so I am going to actually get rid of them and start from scratch. So I'm going to change my color to red and change the line weight to zero. The white lines, of course, are drawn in weight one, as they should be. And we'll go to the dimensioning tools, dimension linear. Before I do, though, I'll give you my settings. So we're all working on the same page. Just drag my dimension style settings box over. I'm in the units tab. I'm working in working units in the English system for this video. And the label format then will be must unit label dash subunit label for feet and inches and fractions. Working in feet and inches, accuracy is not particularly important, but typically one eighth of an inch. Text wise, I have the engineering font set, and width and height is set also at one inch each. If you're working in metric, try 25 or even 20 millimeters for that height. That's all the information you need for that. Now let's start placing dimensions. Now, what I'd like you to do is two things. One, Make sure that in the locks box, the association is off. You'll see why this is so in a minute. That's OK. And then expand the tool settings box for the linear dimensioning tool. And notice that association here is grayed out. It's not usable at the moment. In other words, we're placing these dimensions without associating them to the elements themselves. That's what I need right now. So the tool is running. We can minimize the box and I can place those dimensions. So a fairly simple process. You've done this before. There's the first dimension, second dimension, third dimension, right mouse button to stop the string. So far so good, very straightforward. And this of course is a dimension string, not individual dimensions. Now let's say the designer comes along and adds something to these elements. In this case, just a line. And to add the line, let's go back to white as the color and one as the line weight. And we'll start the line tool. And I want to draw a vertical line here, which is one foot or 300 millimeters in this direction. So tentative point there, F11, O key, put the compass there, drag this way. I'll simply type one for one foot, type 300 if you're in millimeters. Left click, drag down, and let's be tidy. Enter, pick up the end of this line, and that's my extra line. Obviously, I need to add a dimension to that line now and in that string. So rather than redo the entire string, all I have to do is use the insert vertex tool. Start the insert vertex tool, select the dimension itself, and snap to that line. And there we have the inserted dimension to the correct value. Very neat, very simple. If I want to take that out again, let's say the designer, being a designer, removes that for various reasons. Now I have an orphan dimension. To remove it, go now to the Delete Vertex tool and click on that dimension. And we revert back to the original dimension itself. That's obviously a very useful set of tools. And it's not uncommon to need to add or subtract dimensions 
and on many occasions I've forgotten to actually dimension to a particular point in a string. So remember, insert vertex and delete vertex can come to the rescue. The next thing to look at is associating these dimensions with the elements themselves. Now right now, because you place the dimensions without associating them with the elements, if we were to drag the elements away, as I'm doing here, then the dimension remains where it is. It's not tied to either of these two elements. Let me do a control Z, put those two back. And now let's associate this dimension with this element. So we need another tool. In this case, we're going down to the Reassociate Dimensions tool on the Dimensioning Toolbox. And again, the procedures are very simple. I select the dimension and simply data point. So when I drag this element away, the dimension goes with it, as you can see. So obviously in this case, the dimension is tied to this element. And that's what I would have originally snapped to when I placed this dimension in the first place. Let me undo that. Back we go again. So that's associating a dimension with a point. Now, I had to do this, of course, because the association lock was off when I first placed the dimensions. So let me do this instead. I'm going to delete this dimension set here. And we'll start again. Let's put it red back on again. Back to zero weight. Back to the dimension tool. Expand the box. Now notice I would like to select association, but I can't. It's grayed out. And it's grayed out because if you read the note that's popped up, the association lock must be enabled first, which means that we have to go down to the locks again and turn association on. And now you notice that association for the dimension tools is available. So now I turn that on, reduce the box, and now the dimensions I place will be associated with the elements themselves. There. Now again, if I move this element, I'm automatically associated with that element. And as the element moves, so will the dimensions. So control Z to undo that. Now most of the time, you would normally have association on for dimensions. Because as you edit elements, then the dimensions automatically go with them. For example, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit here and start the stretch tool. If I pick this end here and stretch this line there to there, then the dimension, of course, goes with it. That would not have happened if association wasn't on before. What if I don't want that dimension to be associated with that line? In other words, I want to disassociate that dimension with the element. I can do that too. And there are a couple of ways of doing it, but you have to be a little careful with this. You might think that the drop tool, drop element tool, would work since we can drop a dimension. But this is a little dangerous because it also drops the association with the geometry. So in other words, the dimension becomes a collection of individual elements not a dimension string. So this is probably not what you want. You still want the dimension string. You still want the dimension to be a single element, not individual parts. So be a little careful with the drop element tool. What you really need is a different tool. And you'll find this under tools and toolboxes. And we're looking for drop. There's the drop toolbox. Click on that. We can get rid of that. Here's the drop toolbox, which is similar to the one on the main toolbox on the left, but contains a few extra things. We're particularly interested in this, which is drop association. Now, if we use this and select that dimension there, we'll find that this dimension is now not associated with that line. Now I'm going to undo that. I'm going to also undo the unassociation. Control Z again. Just double check that this is actually associated. Yes, it is. Okay, Control Z to put it back. I will dismiss the drop box. And now I want to show you one extra thing here, which you may have run across already and can be quite disconcerting when it happens. 
For example, this is now back to being an, an associated dimension. If I delete this line, select it, press the delete key, this happens. I get the dimension showing up in very heavy broken lines. And when you first see this, it can be quite a puzzle as to what's actually happened. But what has happened, of course, is you've deleted the line to which that dimension was associated. So this dimension string has lost its association. And this is how MicroSession shows you that there's a lost association somewhere. So when you're editing, it's not unusual to delete an associated element and see this dimension display. The only way around it is to reinstate that element, undo it, in other words, but that might not be possible. So the only real answer here is to redraw that dimension string using the newer elements, which may now be in place. Now you might practice all of this. I'm going to undo. Practice this, please. Try different associations. Add more elements to this system to practice the insert and delete vertex.